it's a jazzy start to your Friday Eve. A little jazz. That's a little jazz from uh, the, the greatest, one of the greatest musicians of all time, jazz musician, John Coltrane. No, uh, a you come in there. I'm sorry. I bet Miss May's you. back in the band room going, yeah. And then you say Kenny G, she just passed out. So, uh, kids, if Miss May has passed out from Mr. Allen saying that Kenny G is his favorite jazz musician, come get one of us. I know it's near lunchtime, but come get one of us, and we'll have to come in and have to cover Miss May until she gets um, her, her yeah. sense about it. And I'm assuming Mr. Nickerson, too, he might have passed out as well. Check on both. Yeah. Check on both your teachers. Miss sixth graders, I know her sixth graders' advisories. Please check out Miss May right now, Mr. Nickerson, for him saying that Kenny G was his. Yeah, I just um, love Kenny G. I just love, I just love, it's so soothing and just relaxing. Just. But your favorite jazz artist? I mean, I'd have gone with a little Louis Armstrong, but. Uh, Kenny G is just, I don't know. I like Kenny G. So, well, okay. But to say it's your favorite or the best. I don't know. I won't say the best. I said just my favorite. That oh, okay. Favorite. Maybe then, maybe then, right now, Miss May and Mr. But that's just who I grew with. I just like like Miss May and Miss Nickerson are probably okay then. But yeah. you still, if some, if they did pass out earlier, sixth graders come get us. Okay, that's just that's just my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have, we have a lot of announcements today to get through on this Friday Eve. It is the first day, the one, two, three, four day of our. Black Day students, and so we're always happy to have students in the class in the classroom in the building, and so we welcome those students today. Let's get to it. All right, today is Thursday, November the twelfth, two thousand and twenty, and yesterday, of course, was Veterans Day, and we did, you know, we talked about uh, the veterans in our family. You had one more person. Your brother's in the Marines, right, Mr. Allen? Yeah. You forgot about that yesterday. Yeah, he was enlisted in the Marines, and he's actually still there, but he does not no longer on duty. He's basically discharged back here, but he served some time in Desert Storm as well. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. That's that's a that's a 1991 action. I remember that. I was a senior in high school. I remember that specifically. Remember that. We have some students who share with us, and if you shared. Like most so students who share, but you don't see your name up here. I sent you a question back to get a full name. Let me make sure we're, we're, we're um, honoring the person. Full name. And you can keep emailing me through Canvas. Uh, there's a Westlane page you can access me. There's an Hour of Code page you can access me. Uh, you can just send it to my regular email and we'll put it up here. But I'd like to recognize some family members of students who are here in the building. First of all, Abigail Gobert. Uh, she's a seventh grader and she had both grandfathers, Alan Gobert and David Tuttle who were in the military. And then we had Emma Carr in sixth grade and she has a, a Christian Kusky is in the Navy, a relative of hers. And then Case, Caleb also had a, quite a few eighth grader. So uh, George Joseph Gilliam was in the Navy and he is now deceased. Monica White was in the Navy. Alicia Peabody's in the Navy and Michael Collins is in the army. Awesome. Uh, and then Maddie Nava Polanco, and then actually she sent it to me, but then I realized that uh, she has a brother named Alberto, so I'm going to give him a little credit too, has a sister named Isabel Nava. Now, Isabel graduated from North Central, and I believe she went to West Lane. I think I remember her. So um, you know, if I'm wrong on that, I remember another Isabel, but uh, is it, so he sent along a picture as well, so that was awesome. So Isabel Nava is in the Army, as you can see here in the picture at her – Training or actually induction. So I'm always a little bit confused on that, but there's a picture of her. So thank you for sharing. And if you want to keep sharing with us, email me. We'll, we'll read these off. Pictures. Yeah, and pictures too. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And if you even had your names read today and wanted to share pictures, I'll share this screen again. It's like we produce and, and do we do our full service announcements. We do everything. So. Well, you do it all. Well, you guys are great co-hosts. We're just here. I don't know, like a producer. Like it's yeah, here. it's fun. It. It's fun to do. So, all right, make sure we start our day at Canvas. MSDWT.instructure.com. Every day starts with Canvas. Parent portal is WestlandParents.com. Every parent can go there every day. Get the so every day you get whether or not there's two things we always change every morning on WestlandParents.com. One is we talk about if there's any technology issues. We know that 60% of our, at any one time, 60 to 65% of our students are virtual. 
sometimes 100 percent so we talk about what technology is or isn't working and we know we had a couple of of things earlier in the year where one day canvas was down one day zoom was down so we tell you whether everything's there we tell you what comes up first for the day and then we give you the schedule for the day so you can look at that and know what time your student has to be on um, their zoom and then the announcements have all the announcements and i think i'm about to take off august and september because they're good for they, they are archived and they're good but i think i'm going to start clearing that out because the page is starting to go longer so i'm just like you guys can go to you guys can subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch the older announcements. They're good though. They're real good. Award winning. Yes, they are. All right. Zoom norms for West Lane. We're gonna talk about today. We're talking about, let's see here. Let's talk about being respectful on Zoom, Mr. Allen. Being respectful here at West Lane on Zoom is mute your microphone. We are not speaking. Have your camera on whenever it's possible. Give your full attention to your speakers and use respectful language at all times. That's being respectful on Zoom. All right, room norms for West Lane. We uh, read it and so let's be respectful in our rooms, Ms. Barber. Okay, so we're gonna be patient when the teacher is admitting virtual students. I know that can take some time. Just be patient and let them get everybody in. Help wipe down um, your seated, your areas around where you're sitting. Um, it makes the classroom clean and it helps your teacher out. Give your full attention to the speaker and just like your friends on Zoom, use respectful language. And that's how to be uh, safe, responsible, and respectful on Zoom and in the room here at West Lane. Technology issues, please dial 317-254-5566. And if you ever just ask me that number, I never remember it. I read it every day and I never remember it. So I don't, I just, cause I know over here teacher wise. So teachers, if you're in the building, just how dial pound one, that goes right to the help desk. And that's the, this is a long number to get in there. Ms. So. Barbara has his number down packed. I do. I asked her the other day. She said, you don't know that number? We say it every other day. Like, no, I don't know that number. So I'm the one who reads it every day. I still don't remember it. I still <laughs> don't. It's terrible. All right. We've got three birthdays today. So we're going to start it off. So happy birthday to Muhammad Ali. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Muhammad. Seventh happy grader. Birthday. Happy birthday to Vanessa Dominguez Martinez. Happy birthday, birthday, Vanessa. Yeah. And happy birthday to Tyler Estes. He is uh, birthday, he's, our, he's our lunch buddy from last year. He, he liked to hang out with us. Like it's me, but see, he had sea lunch with me a lot. And so him and I hung out a lot in lunch. So happy birthday, Tyler. Love it. All right. So we've got a few. We're going to close out our, our, um, our, our September. Yeah, September students of the month. Yes, that's it. So we'll start reading October next week and then start reading November um throughout well we're, we're always about a month behind which is fine because teachers sent out the cards so i got two sixth graders today first up i go read that miss barber yeah um taylor hutchinson is um being um shouted out by miss miller taylor comes to class ready to work she is always willing to participate in class even if she's not sure of the answer she communicates clearly and isn't afraid to ask questions very nice in a foreign language. Good job, Taylor. Good job, Taylor. Taylor, good job. And Mr. Allen, do you know Manuela? Do you have her in your social studies class? I do not have Manuela, but I would love to read about her. So Manuela Oki, I believe. If not, she's got, I think she's already in for October. Spoiler <laughs> alert. Uh, so uh, just I don't know how I know that, but I know that. So we think Manuela Oki. Go ahead. I'm Miss Salmon. She is recognizing Manuela. Not only is Manuela hilarious and witty, she is eager to answer to a prompt or a question with informed responses that indicate she is thinking critically and reflectively. So nice. that is very, very awesome. Good job. Good job. So we, might, we might have to have, a, when we have a student co-host for our daily announcement, get Manuela in here because she's hilarious. <laughs> so. I like that. All right. The mission of Westlake Middle School is to develop lifelong learners and globally minded citizens by fostering the academic, creative, and social skills needed to achieve excellence in a multicultural environment. Every wildcat, every day gets better. All right. So we're back just talking about a few things, a couple of things to clear up out here. Number one, I'm talking to just a handful of eighth graders, but I want to make sure I'm reinforcing with everyone. 
We're getting a little loose with our masks. Our masks have to cover here to here. Okay. And then we also know there's a couple areas in the time with passing periods that you want to talk to each other. We can't do that. Okay. Because we do contact tracing, we do um, social distancing, and you sitting there and taking your mask off talking, that doesn't work. We know we give you the time in the cafeteria to take your mask off, and we give you the time in the cafeteria to talk to each other, but we do say when you turn to each other in the cafeteria, we put our masks back on. So let's not get in a habit of when our mask is ever off here at West Lane, and we really don't need to stop and talk to each other anyway. You're here for two days. You can, again, you can chat with people in class when you're on the Zoom, especially the eighth and seventh graders who have to do both when they're here. But let's not get loose with that mask. I, I can't really express that enough. Uh, I think that most of you are doing a, a, a 99% of you doing a wonderful job, but I make sure that we're just tight with the mask. We know the numbers right now in Marion County, especially, are not looking good. And so we want to make sure that you are following those directions every single day. Because ultimately, all we want is you guys to be safe. And we don't want anybody to get sick. And so we're not trying to be mean or yell at you, but we just we clearly, we just want you to be healthy. And we want all of our teachers and staff members to be healthy too. So we all have to do it. And I'll say this, every time we've had a contact trace, which means someone has tested positive, um, then we've always come up so far when we've contact trace with this many people that have been impacted because of it. Cause you're, you're observing, you're observing six feet of distance, social distance and 15 minutes. You don't, you don't get in that time. However, if you take your mask off and you're talking to someone in the hallway, that no, yep. that is absolute a one. Like we have things here that we, we like will remind you on. That is one thing that like, no, we can't do it. Okay. And I don't want to have to get to a point where we're saying someone, you know, you're not welcome right now in school because we're violating safety protocols. Uh, they are here for all of us. And that doesn't mean just you. That doesn't mean just the student next to you. That means for your family, your take, you're walking home to. That means for the staff and the staff and the rest of the students here at West Lane. We want to keep everybody safe. And we don't want to have to say to someone or a parent like, hey, listen, they're violating safety protocols. And we really would like them to go back to just being virtual. I don't want to do that. But you have got to follow. That mask is there's no... We are not flexible with this mask, okay? We've given the half hour. I know some teachers take you outside to go ahead and take the mask off. I'm totally fine with that because we're keeping that social distancing and we're moving constantly. But when we're in the building, that mask, unless you're in the cafeteria, it's got to stay on, okay? But it's just we're not, we're not going to be flexible on that whatsoever, all right? Now, in happier news, uh, Mr. Bogenkamp did tell me today that he could use a few more wrestlers, for wrestling, and so I put him in a headlock, and he didn't mean that at the time. He meant student wrestlers, so he's got to be more specific. Um, and and I, don't, I don't know why he wasn't, so I put him in a headlock, and then he half Nelson me, and he and he tried to pin me, but I think then... The sleeper Nelson. hold. Uh, that's not a real thing. The sleeper hold is not a real thing. Uh, then there were no folding chairs for me to... No, 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 that's not a real thing either. However, if you would still like to wrestle... Uh, for the combined Eastwood, Northview, and uh, West Lane MSDWT team, and we all of our practices over at North or in Northview because they're the only ones with two gyms. Um, so that's where we're at. So um, and so, Mister Mister Bogenham is still recruiting wrestlers. So if that's something you want to do, then make make sure he knows about that. Then he'll talk about how to get to either your parents can drop you off at Northview for practice. Um, and though I think some things might be changing with after school buses, however, we'll be able to, to get at least you to there and picked up. So if you want to wrestle, then. Who doesn't? Yeah. Who does? I mean, well, who doesn't? I don't know. Who doesn't? So, who doesn't? so, yeah. And so if you want to wrestle, yeah, that's absolutely something you still do. Just reach out to Mr. Bowen Camp and practice right now only Tuesday through Thursday. There's no Friday practice and there's no Monday practices. So it's three days a week. Love it. And you're more than welcome. Yep. So. And next time, maybe he'll be more clear when he asks me to find wrestlers. He doesn't mean me. And so, uh, lesson learned. Lesson learned. So, um, let's see what else. We've got NWA makeups. So, some of you are watching this, and we messaged you about NWA makeups. Go to that NWA Zoom. So, um, 
uh, Miss Barbara today is making you up, and then I and we're gonna work next week, and 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 maybe we'll start messaging. Some of you didn't come in for either test, and we gotta test you. Come on, buddies. Come on. That's gonna be fun. Come on, let's come on, Wildcats. We need you in there to help get the. We need some. Uh, we want to make sure that we're. Don't make me sing again, because I will do it, and you know I will. Yeah, they so. enjoy it. They keep telling me that they're lying when they say it's cringeworthy. They, they oh, really outstanding. <laughs> we're not taking them seriously, kids. Not taking it seriously on that. So, okay. So again, we like masks all the time. All the time. Wrestling still available. NWA song, beautiful. Uh, yes. NWA. So, all right, everybody. Anything else? Do we do we do we have anything else for our Friday Eve? I think we we love good. Friday Eve. It's such a great. Day. And so, oh, real quick before I, uh, I'm sorry, before I uh, lose my train of thought, Mister Carter Mendoza, who was filling in for Mrs. Brobe for a little bit. He was also a veteran, and he actually uh, he sent me a picture today of him having, uh, or ha- I'm sorry, of on Wednesday of him having a Veterans Day meal of Lunchables. So we we take two things and we combine them. So yeah, Mr. Uh, Carter Mendoza, who as like I said was a Spanish teacher, he is now actually full time at Northview. He's a Spanish teacher over there, but he was also a veteran. So that's awesome. Cool. That is awesome. So all right, let's play out a little. Uh, Non Kenny G John Coltrane called Giant Steps. Wow. So, we'll play some Kenny G. Non-90s. Yeah. So. Non- <laughs> 